An atom has energy. What does it mean? This video will give you the answer. Here is a basketball. I'm going to throw it. By doing so, I will apply a force on it for a certain distance. I will be working on it. And therefore, I will be giving it energy. Remember, work is a transfer of energy. The basketball is moving. It has kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion. The basketball also has a height. It has potential energy due to gravity. Potential energy is the energy due to position. The sum of both these energies is the ball's mechanical energy. We could call such an energy the external energy. Now, let's look inside a ball. The particles of air inside are moving around. They have kinetic energy. The particles of air are also interacting with each other, depending on how far they are from each other. They have also potential energy. The sum of the kinetic and potential energies of the particles inside the ball corresponds to the internal energy of the ball. It is the energy inside the ball. So we have two types of energies. The outside energy, which we call mechanical energy, and the inside energy, which is called internal energy. Now, when we talk about the energy of the atom, we are talking about internal energy. Let's consider the hydrogen atom. It has a nucleus, positively charged, and an electron, negatively charged. The nucleus is not really moving relatively to the atom. It is in the center of the atom, fixed. So it does not really have any kinetic energy. On the other hand, the electron is in circular motion around the nucleus, so it is moving. It has kinetic energy, one half mv square, where m is the mass of the electron and v the linear velocity of the electron. Potential energy is due to the interaction between two objects. Because they have opposite charges, the nucleus and the electron attract each other. To simplify, we talk about the potential energy of the electron, even though we are talking about that of the nucleus electron system. The potential energy between two charges is proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the distance between them. So, in the case of our nucleus electron system, we have a potential energy which is proportional to E squared on R. Yes, because the nucleus has a charge of E, which is the elementary charge, as well as the electron. We've seen in the previous section of this video that the energy of the atom is actually its internal energy. That is, the sum of the energies of its constituents. Well, the nucleus does not have any energy. We only consider here the energy of the electron. So the energy of the atom is equal to the kinetic energy of the electron plus the potential energy of the electron. In episode 4, we dig a little bit deeper. We derive this energy and we prove that the energy of the atom is inversely proportional to the radius of the circular motion of the electron. That means that when the electron is on a higher orbit, the atom has more energy. That's all for today, folks, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I give you rendezvous in the next edition of IB Physics Made Easy. Oh, and if you like these series, please subscribe.